Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your girl V Henny, man. You already know the vibes. Welcome to the artistry where we talk shit about music, entertainment, and the everyday struggles. And you know how we do, man. We always have a dope guest in the building. We have Long Island's own. He's an entrepreneur, an artist. He's just a go getter overall. FGO Castle. You already know, man. I don't have a budget, so you understand? I got to be like, ah, nah. you know? It's <laughs> all so good. I, I, I feel the vibe. You feel the vibes? I feel the vibes. That's, what I'm, that's, that's why you here. Yeah, that's why here. you here. We vibing out. Um, I want to say, uh, before we dive into anything, I want to just say thank you. Finally, we here. Yes. We've been trying to make well, thank you for having year. us here. Since thank last you. year, we've been yes. trying to, you know, do that's this. That's a fact. Yeah, nah. Finally got it, yo. Well, welcome to my humble home. busy year. Yes. And it's only first quarter. Yeah, we getting started. Yeah. Shaking a block with it. Let's as get it. As you should. As you mm-hmm. should. Um, I want to say congratulations. I want to take a toast. I want to say congratulations it. to you and all your successes. Yes. Um, You're doing amazing things, and we're going to tap into it, man. This is for you right now. Thank you. Let's do this. Ooh. <sighs> Feel it in my chest. Ooh, you feel it in your chest? I think I might have a hair, too, but <laughs> nah. <laughs> What's good, though? How you doing? How you feeling? I feel good. I feel like a million bucks. Yo, you working. Mm-hmm. I was, um, you know, it's like crazy because you look at people's IGs, right? And you just like, you're constantly like posting, like you're here, you're there. And it's like, IG is a perception, right? Mm-hmm. Which it can be anybody's reality. But the fact that I know outside of IG, I know you're working. Mm-hmm. It's like, I, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it because not too many artists, they, they, they look at, their music career, and they feel like it's solely, like, just recording and possibly, like, just performing here and there, and that's it. Nah, it's more to that shit. It's way more to that. And when did you start realizing the, like, the fact that it's, that's only 10%, and then there's the 90%? I started realizing that, like, after I started putting out product and I wasn't getting the feedback right away, Mm. and I started to say, you know, there has to be another way to engage people with this product, you gotta shake hands, go out, network, you know, just di- different elements that can make people more interested in you as a product, cause you are the product as an Absolute, artist. Absolutely, absolutely, your brand. Yes, you know, so like you gotta sell me in a sense, absolutely. right? Not to sound like that, but basically, nah, you gotta facts. sell me you. Like I need to know what you're about. You know, when can you say you started taking? Cause I know you've been in the music business for a long time, not to like stretch it out or exaggerate it like that, but you've been in the industry for a minute. When can you say you started taking? I know you say you shaking hands, but when did it really hit you when you was like, I need to take this serious? Honestly, when my cousin died, when Shanero Lee got murdered, that was my partner. That's who I did all my music with, and he used to be the one to push me all the time mm. because he knew my talent. But um, at the time, I wasn't focused on that. I just wanted to run the streets and hang out with my friends and shit. Mm. He always wanted me to go to the studio. And then, like, that week prior to him dying, he was like, yo, stop playing. You need to get in the booth. You got what it takes. You know what I'm saying? Get out here and do it. And then he ended up getting killed, and that shit, like, tore me apart. And I actually was going to quit music altogether. Really? Because that was my partner. That's who I was on stage with performing and shit. So... I had to build up the courage to even pick up the mic or pick up the pen again. I didn't write or nothing. And I had over, at that time, I had over a thousand songs written on paper. How long did it take, like, that process of, like, you not writing? How long was that? It was about a year or two after his death. Oh, wow. It really took a toll on me because my cousin was, like, an older brother to me. Like, literally, since we was in diapers, he was, like, three, four years older than me. So he got at me. He showed me a lot of shit. I smoked my first blunt with him when I was, like, nine years old. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Word, like, you know what I mean? Nah, that's deep. So that's what really was like, you know what? I got to keep his name alive. I got to let these niggas know I'm outside. You know what I mean? I'm not ducking and hiding. I want to do this music shit, and I want people to feel my energy, feel my vibe 1,000%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, mm-hmm. and at that at that time, I, you would say people still wasn't paying attention to you as you wanted to. Well, I feel like the game changed. It wasn't social media wasn't as prevalent as it is now. Yeah, yeah. Before you had to really be out there putting your flyers on, on, talk about on the wall, and you know what I'm saying. Like, shout out to my sister Reese. 
Cause she used to work for Hot 97 and shit, and she put me on to a lot of shit when I was young. I used to intern with her, okay. going around promoting and mm. doing doing groundwork, putting okay. in the groundwork. Like, yeah, yeah, the so street team. Yeah, you I had to learn. Sh- yeah, 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 facts. That's crazy. So she used to give me like a whole bunch of like a stack of different like flyers, and I used to have to get the staples and put it on all the poles, Damn. drive around with her. I was annoyed. I used to get on her nerves, but I still did it, and I appreciate that because it, it showed me that, you know, that level of grind was hands on. This yeah. social media shit, you could put up a flyer, pay for it to be sponsored, and it could be all over the place. But that's not guaranteeing the the return on what you. Yeah, no, in. no, it's not. But that torch is not guaranteed the return in a sense, right? Mm-hmm. But it, you know, it all depends on your mindset because then in the long run it does pay off. Not too many out here, but I feel like down south. When I go down south, right, I look at like certain artists or like labels or whatever, they still have that street team mentality. Yeah, now nah, they do. Shout out to Shampoo. I met him recently, Shampoo from Def Jam. Yeah, he's dope uh, people. We, we, we did some work with him when okay. we was um, uh, rolling loud, and that was pretty dope. That was a dope experience to be able to work with him and his family and friends and stuff, so shout out to them and their That's team. dope, because you be around so many people. What, like, what knowledge have you gained recently from somebody that you can say you look up to? Or you pay attention to their success? Well, shout out to Tanner. I always shout him out because he's been a great mentor to mm-hmm. me uh, early in the game. He brought me around so many different celebrities. The first time he brought me around a celebrity was Jada Kiss. I completely lost it because <laughs> Jada was, nah, no bullshit. Tanner had a talk with me. He'll tell you. We had a talk. He was like, listen, when we go in this room, try to act normal as possible. Don't lose your cool and all that. We go okay. into we go to the we in Yonkers somewhere. We go to the warehouse, and it doesn't even look like a studio on the outside. But when you go inside, this shit was like beautiful. Okay. Jada comes to the fucking door, and I, I almost lost. I almost lost it. It was my first time ever okay. like meeting him in person, and he was mad chill. So I'm like, yo, I got like 500 rap songs. I'm about to spit to this nigga yeah, real yeah, quick. Yeah. Jada's <laughs> like, nope, don't do it. Chill, you know what I mean? So. Working with him and Will and the street team for, like, when I was younger, it gave me a chance to be around people of higher stature mm. and know how, to, know how to articulate myself and not come off like a male groupie. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you, you, yeah. We, we don't want you to yeah. be a little girl. You <laughs> exactly. <understand? laughs> we don't it's want easy that. to fall in that category when yeah. you're a fan of these niggas. It Word. is. Yeah, it is. I mean, you have, you know, you have those who be thirsty about it. You understand? But I'm glad that you, you know, like, again, you... They taught you early on. Mm-hmm. And not only that, I don't. Th- I mean, I'm assuming it's not within your character. You understand? No, 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 no. So I, I, what I am interested is, obviously, you're from Long Island, right? Mm-hmm. And, yo, Long Island be getting a lot of heat. Yes, they do. Yes, we do. They be getting a lot of And I'm not going to lie, it's a lot of talent. Coming from Long Island, what is it that you want to represent with, with, I'm not, it's not even a bird, but, like, within your town. Like, what is it that, how you want to be looked at? As a real man, like somebody who stood for something, mm. substance, character, um, somebody who brings unity, because I feel like um, Long Island is lacking unity amongst ourselves. Why is that? We don't support each other. Everybody wants to be that head honcho. I don't care if I'm the head honcho or not. I'll still come to somebody else's showcase mm. or performance, and I'll sit in the crowd and cheer you on like anybody else would because I feel like having that humble spirit will draw more positive energy to you. Yeah. You know, so if I if there's anything that I can contribute to Long Island is be more unified, you know what I'm saying? Because I see other places doing it, and they do a damn good job at it, and we, we're lacking Do you, it. though? I feel like... Down South? Down South is... Yeah, I, but... Down South will always be unified in a sense. It's but, crazy. But, but even like, in the city, here, you like... see, you see, when you got the drill, you got certain artists. They 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 ride out with each other. Like they got the whole movement. They have a whole movement with um, BX drill or Brooklyn drill. Like yeah, yeah. You can't really say, oh, there's a Long Island drill or some shit like that. I don't. How is the the like the music scene? I think it's a, like a melting pot of different type of talent. There's, there's of course, there's drill everywhere because yeah. it's it's, it's just a popular, yeah. It's a popular thing to do, but there's also a lot of lyricism going on in Long Island. I I gotta tell you, there's some dope fire coming from out of Long Island. I mean, obviously, look at you. You understand? Yeah, That's, thank and you. I, even like off air, I was telling you, I was like, yo, you rap rap. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Like, and yeah. I appreciate that. You know.
going into um what is it friend zone right friend zone yeah yeah so going Featuring into splash shout out to splash yeah and like so like shout out to the, definitely like a dope track and I, like i told you what caught me with that song was the video watching the video I was, that was the first thing i did was watch the video yeah. and i um was just the whole relatable topic of mm-hmm. of the song and it's like Dad, this is real life. You yeah, understand? Yeah, don't hear me dap. I got a plan for rap. Come with the stencils attached. Act like we brothers been hit on the cover. I'm good on that. Like, there's a lot of that shit going on. People act like they love you, mm-hmm. but really can't stand you. Like, fucking hate your guts and won't support shit. That shit yeah. is crazy. Why do you think support is sort of difficult when it comes to hip-hop? I feel like with hip-hop, it's a very competitive sport. Mm. It's like, my chain is better than yours. My whip is better than yours. Well, I rap better than you. Well, I look better. Like, it's a whole bunch of that. Instead of like, damn, everybody, yo, you looking good, yo. Yo, wow, yo, let's get together. Let's create something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not too much of that going on. I mean, I... Uh- are you surprised though? Because I feel like the music industry is like that. Is yeah, it that they yeah, love? It's, shady. it's like they love to hate you, or like it's like it's you know, or it's like they they truly like it's just a whole fake persona. Like they just want to smile in your face, you know, like That's whatever, it. you know. I noticed like if you watch my social media, if anybody follows my social media, they'll see me sharing everybody's content that I fuck with. Okay. I will share, I will like, I will comment, I will do all of those things. But in return, it, the energy is very low. I don't get the same kind of love in exchange. I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that, but I, I wish it would change, though, mm. so that everybody could be on the same page and we could just build each other up. You know, you support a lot. Yeah. And it's like the energy is not really reciprocated like that. And again, it's like I this is where that, you know, like you got to kind of leave that type of energy behind yeah. and then just continue moving forward. And this is where people be like, yo, you changed. Yeah, no, nah, that, definitely. They say you switched up and stuff. I, I totally understand that. Tell me a song you created that took you out of your comfort zone. Hmm. Honestly, when I'm when I'm talking about um r- like relationship issues mm, okay. with my with uh, 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 your mate. Sometimes that's hard to articulate in your music because your emotions can draw you all over the place. And you want to say so much and make it catchy at the same time. You don't want to sound like it's like a run-on sentence. Are you scared to be vulnerable? Nah, absolutely not. And that's what you're going to see on this album called Legacy. Okay. And I dropped this album. It's it's like vulnerability. Definitely. How many tracks? I'm all about vulnerability. It's going to be at least at least 10 but no more than like no more than twelve. No okay, more than 12. It's so that's be, decent. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna pack it. You okay, because I'm like you know less not is to... more. Less is more. Okay, and you gotta you gotta you gotta know the market that you that you're targeting. Exactly, your target market. Exactly, mine's is women. What is it that you're seeking within your career then? Like, because I know you have you you're you have like. I would look at it like a fa- like a family. I was gonna say it's family, familia. You yeah. know, you have a you know FGO. You know, it's like it's a family. Yeah, you it know? is a family. Shout out to Fredo, Big Ron, Will. You know what I mean? New York in the building. You know, facts, facts. Yeah, you facts. know, but family goals, opportunities. opportunities. Is it? But is it a label as well? Or I feel like it can grow into all of that. I'm okay. trying to stay independent. I don't really. I'm not looking to get signed. Okay, like I'm that's what I'm trying, trying to, to know. trying to get a distribution deal or something. And work for myself. I'm already an engineer. I've been engineering my own music for over ten years. So, like, yeah, you don't I don't produce though, right? I don't produce. Okay, I know how to produce. Okay. I use Fruity Loops, but I don't market myself as a producer until I'm just as nice at producing as I am with my lyricism and I ain't there yet and I ain't gonna I ain't gonna sugarcoat that shit but with engineering yeah I know my shit I went to Five Towns College for okay. um, audio engineering and business that's management that's dope so I'm well versed okay so you're looking for distribution but that's pretty Absolutely. much it or partnership in a sense yeah you know? I'm gonna okay. be I'm gonna do it like how um, Young Dolph and Nipsey Hussle did those are inspirational artists to me the reason why I ask that is because I feel like a lot of people don't realize how um, how much footwork? I'm not saying you don't, but don't realize how much foot footwork you have to put within your brand, especially when you're independent. That means yeah. a lot of money. It needs to be spent. Yo, V, you see what I'm wearing right now, though? Yeah, yeah. My brand. <laughs> I know that. Castle FGO. So as you should. I'm I mean, practicing what I preach. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting this shit into tuition, bringing it into um, reality. You know, because it's one thing to think it, but 
to write it down and um, articulate it over the mic and then live it is my Have thing. you That's always been like this, like having that business mindset? Absolutely. I had to be. Okay. Because um, I'd noticed that if you don't learn what your worth or your potential is, somebody will tell you what your worth and potential is, and it's never going to be exactly what, you, what you're worth. It's always going to be less because there's going to be a portion of that that they're going to want to take from you. And I'll be damned if I let a person do that shit to me. I like your mindset. I definitely do. Now let's go back to your creative po- process. I know we spoke about your vulnerability, but I want to know like, like more or less, what's your creative your creative process like? It literally takes me five minutes to write a full song. Really? Yes. Okay. I listen to a beat. I listen to the melodic sound of the beat. I listen to when the chorus is about to come on. I listen to where the the either the eight bars or the sixteen bars is, and I begin to let the beat narrate what I want to say. Like, if the beat is more of an emotional, it brings out an emotional feeling, mm-hmm. then you're going to get more of the emotional side of me. But if the beat is more, like, gritty, like, you know what I'm saying? You're talking your shit on it, I'm going to walk on that shit. And you're mm-hmm. going to know, I'm going to let my presence be felt on any track, any feature I'm on, I'm smoking it. Are you opposed to writing for artists? Nah, I want to write for artists, but I want to establish myself first as Caso. I want everybody to know that I do this shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm serious I think you, about my shit. I, f- I feel like you, you know, you're setting the tone. I don't mm-hmm. believe in luck. I believe that you, the person, set the tone to where you want to go in life. Absolutely. You know, and I, f- you're watching you, you're setting that tone. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you're obviously planning on dropping this album. After that, like, are you going to do, like, a proper promo, like, a rollout? Like, what are you, you know? Album release I gotta, party. I got to ask this because videos, I'm like, please don't be, like, so you see that. how you, you drop an album, right? And it's super dope. Mm-hmm. And then it's, like, two months later, you, like, you drop something else. And it's, like, bro, how you, nah, you know, like, so, okay. Why do you think I stay with these same singles? The, the singles that y'all see out right now, um, it's not nearly as versatile as I am. I do r and I do I do reggae, I do Afro type music. Okay. I, I got so much different. So you're just an artist. You're yeah. not even a hip hop yeah, artist. I'm a ar- you're yeah, an artist. I'm an artist for real. Okay. And that's why when we over with this podcast system, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of my album. You go like that shit is dope. Okay. Facts. Not, and I'm looking forward to it. You know, obviously ten to twelve tracks. Um, we already know every song is gonna be your baby, right? But like, will you say you have one in particular that you be like? This yeah. is... It's cold. It's cold? Yeah, it's cold. Okay. It's Why? cold. Why? Why that one? Because <laughs> that, that song right there, as soon as you put it on, it, it brings out feelings. You're going to know. Mm. Like, you okay. feel... you feel As soon as it comes on, you feel you feel the motion of the beat, the lyricism, everything. It hits you right away. You ain't got to wait to try to listen. It doesn't have, like, a lag. Sometimes when you listen, yeah, you, okay. you're waiting to hear, like, okay, let me hear something or let me feel something. Nah. As soon as that bitch come on, I'm like, right. oh, that okay. shit, that shit... Ooh. Let's keep it a stack, right? So when it comes to recording, you know you have that moment where like you're pick you're selecting, right? Your mm-hmm. your 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 tracks. How you go about selecting which track made the album and which didn't. No funny shit. I went through like four albums. Okay. Before I even got to these ten songs mm. that I did. And those four albums that I had, I had over a thousand songs in my library. That I never released, that nobody have heard. I mean, New York literally gets mad at me because I never, I don't be releasing shit. I be having, I'm sitting on so much fire. But I took some notes from Jadakiss when I did a show for him. Okay. He said, you got to get yourself a hard drive and you got to load up mad song. You got to treat that shit like a fucking, like a gun yeah. and load that bitch up. So when it's your time, you you fully loaded. You got yeah. the fully loaded clip and I'm going to let my shit off. I'm going to let my shit ring. Facts. Nah, that's a fact. I mean, that's how. Look at Tupac. A lot of like Tupac still got music. That's what I'm saying. You understand? Know like, New, y'all thought it's Tupac was something. Wait till Caso get on the fucking scene. <laughs> Wait. Obviously, in order to grow, you have to leave the negativity behind. Yes. We already know that. So, how was that? Knowing that the more you elevate within your career, you know, there's certain things you cannot do now. Man, I when I was there's certain people you can't be around that's anymore. That's a whole like fact. That, you know? You're not even lying. Like on some G shit. Like. I start, if anybody knows me, they know I'm from South Huntington originally, and I ran in streets. I was around all of the the, the activities that mm-hmm, people don't mm-hmm. want to talk about, and I ain't going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. But what matured me is being a father and um, 
having discipline and, you know, being able to say, like, you know what, if I do something, it's not only going to affect me, it's going to affect my the livelihood of this innocent person who came into this world. Yeah. And I had to make a decision. And sometimes, I ain't going to lie, sometimes it made me feel like I'm soft because I got to take the high road sometimes when I feel like smacking the shit out of niggas. You nah, know what I'm saying? Trust me. Like, I got it in me to do that. But he I was just... mad at my show. He, <laughs> he did that. He wants to, he wants to come at me. I was like, nah, bro, nah. it's not even my fault. Like, let's... <laughs> nah, niggas was acting crazy. And they was fighting over chairs and who's going to sit where. I'm like, my nigga, I came here to have a good time. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm um, I am a gentleman first before I show any signs of aggression. Yeah, I will yeah. show you the utmost respect. But if a person disrespect me, I promise you, anybody will tell you I'm not the one. No, I get it. And I'm 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 proud of you for that because mm-hmm. it's not easy. It's it's harder yes. to ha- maintain that attitude. Like, you know, and, and and you know the deeper you get into your career, it's gonna get even worse. Absolutely. They're going they're going to try to Push you to your limits, you know? So, Take you out of your comfort zone. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. you know? And I'm glad that you, you know, again, you have a dope mindset, you know, and you're, you're disciplined. Mm-hmm. Having discipline is, is truly, like, that's something not to play with. Mm. It's really hard to maintain. It's what keeps you going. Like, yeah. Like, what people don't realize is, I, I was nine years old when I came up with the concept for FGO. And FGO stands for... Um, Family, goals, and opportunities. And the reason why I thought of those um, acronyms is because I thought, why do I even want to do music? Mm. It has to be something I'm willing to live for and something I'm willing to die for. So if I'm not willing to die for it, I could walk away from it at any time. But mm. I've never walked away from FGO because I'll die for this shit. This is what this is me. Bless when it is. And this is why you have people following you. Exactly. Because they believe in it wholeheartedly too. It it also changes leaders lives. Leaders build leaders. I, I be I be I, I meet the youth. I like touching the youth. I like seeing the young adolescents that's getting in trouble and shit and I sit them down and I give them some knowledge of self and, and give them a sense of uh Self worth, like yo, you ain't even gotta do that shit. Let's let's go to the studio. Let's, you know, what I'm saying, let's let me show you a different way to to let out all that, that aggression and shit like that. How's the reaction with that when you? Because now you're tapping into the youth, and you know, coming from social media, you see like a lot of things happening with the youth. Like a lot of the youth is they're getting arrested, arrested, you know, or like doing the whole crazy drill shit. situation, yeah. the aggression, so aggression, should I say? So it's like. So how 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 are they reacting to when you're speaking to them in a mind in a in a place of like of positivity? Well, I'm a, I'm gonna add something else on the record. I used to work for a company called Hope for Youth, and I was a um I was a counselor. I was okay. a youth counselor. So I work with kids that was in juvenile delinquencies and stuff like that, and they absolutely loved me. At first, it was a little rough on them because they wasn't used to somebody who's so, like, persistent. Like, if I rock with you, I'm not giving up on you. And some of them kids, they used to you giving up. They, they'll they disrespect you just to see how much of that disrespect you're going you gonna, to, all right, you're going to quit. Nah, I'm not quitting, nigga. I still want to play basketball with you. What's up? Mm-hmm. You told me to suck your dick, a word? That's crazy, bro. You mad disrespectful. Right, now, right, yeah, you right. mad disrespectful, bro, but we still finna play basketball. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then eventually, like, yo, nothing works. This nigga's like fucking Teflon. Like, I might as well just fuck with this nigga. Like, you know what I mean? At what point in your career, you would say you build that confidence within your artistry? Um... I feel like I'm just now recently tapping into these elements, these okay. new heights. Okay. Because in the beginning, I wasn't sure because, like you said, the, the music industry gets pulled in so many different directions that sometimes it's hard to identify who you are or what you want to be mm-hmm. in this industry because you can get you can get swallowed up very easily. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. And, and, and that's why I, I have to stay true to what my morals and who I am as a person because then I never feel ashamed. I never regret shit. Because this is what I want to do. I said how I feel, and I feel what I say. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. No, you're right about that. <laughs> this industry will swallow that you. Should and, and, swallow your shit. And, and you know, and you know, the fact that you're remaining true to yourself, it, that's even a problem. Yes. At the end, just continue doing it. You know, continue yeah. being you. They're gonna talk shit about you, whether you do good or bad. Mm-hmm. So just continue doing you. 
You understand? So at the end of the day, and we all have a legacy to build. Right now, you're building your legacy. You got a platform right now that's giving artists like myself and other big artists that have already touched this platform an opportunity to to vocalize something that's gonna live on for eternity. Let me ask you a question. Since you mentioned like platforms, right? And you, you know, how you feel about? um, I hate the term um, "pay for play," but you know, when it comes to paying for shows or when it comes to you know, just to uh, investing in certain platforms. I feel like it's very essential for artists to invest in themselves. If you can't show me that you're willing to put up money to um, promote yourself or, or your music, then why should I if I'm an investor? So okay. in, that, in that sense, yes. But how it's done, everybody does it a little different. In some cases, if you're paying to perform and then you're getting tickets and you're able to sell a certain amount, which which will enable, uh, enable you to make money yeah. with them, mm-hmm. then that's dope. Because okay. now if you bring in your following, I get to eat, you get to eat, yeah, and we yeah. all look good. But some of these places, some some of these showcases, I'm not gonna name drop because I don't want no smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some 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 of these things is just a money grab, you know what I mean? And I know it, but so it's how a you learning determine? Experience. So how do you determine whether you want to work with this promoter? How did you determine you wanted to work with me? I see. And I, I want you like complete I'm transparency. You, yeah, complete transparency. I see how hard you go for your artists. I see how hard, uh, how much you promote. Um, the flyers, um, you, you followed up with me constantly. Like we were supposed to been through this mad, mad times. You showed me that you had patience. You was willing to, um, bend your schedule to work with me because of my work schedule. Shit like that shows me that that you're putting care behind what you're doing. So I take you more serious as a person and as a business entity because you care about it. So how, how, what about, how do you determine whether you want to work with other promoters or other individuals since you're uh, you're particular with who you work with yes i am very i am a stickler on that because my inbox is full of people trying to get me to do their showcases podcasts all type of shit they see the traffic on my page Mm -hmm. and um i narrow it down to how they treat other people plain and simple gotcha how do you do business with other people because that shows me how you're gonna do business with me plain and simple Mm. if if you can't do good business with a person um that's in a similar situation as me, up and coming, got a little name for themselves, and they're working with you, and then they have a terrible experience with you. Then I learn from other people's mistakes as well. I don't have, I don't always have to experience the mistake to learn from it. I can learn mm. from other people's. It's always like the whole promoter versus, excuse me, promoter versus um, artist. You know, yeah. where it's like, who's the scammer or who's yeah. the bigger scammer in a sense, right? So you know, like I'm, I'm very adamant and big on telling people. I'm very adamant on telling artists, should I say, do your research. Yes. Even do research on me, if I, I tell people. I'm like, because if you don't feel confident in working with someone, then why are you giving money right there Yeah, don't then? do that, yeah. Don't you do know? That. Or like, if there's no email, no receipts, nothing. One thing I do admire about your platform is that you didn't just have a showcase just to have people um, collecting their money and just performing on stage and then that's it. You brought out people that are related to the music business. Okay. Like you brought out Drewski, you brought out Gabe, and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and other um, up and coming artists. And now it's not only it's a great opportunity for you to perform in front of these people, but it's a great opportunity for you to network right, as right, well. Right. So I was able to network and and content purposes. If you know how to maximize your your, your content then you you could benefit even from that alone, just being in the building. Gotcha. So that's one thing that I did like a lot about your um your platform. Do you read a lot? Well, I used to. I okay. don't read as much as I, I like because I'm always working. I'm always busy and shit. Or like, like audios the, the, or anything yes, like that? Yes, that I do now okay. because I, do dr- I drive for a living. So okay. I can't read as much as I would like to, but I do listen to audios. 48 what? Laws of Power. I, mm. I'm, I'm beating you right to it. <laughs> Thank uh, you, you, Grow Rich. you finish 48? Huh? Yes, I listened to it. I haven't finished audio. it yet. Thank You Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. That was a Great really good book, one. Yes. I like uh, tr- I, I like urban um, books too, like okay. True okay. to the Game. That was a good Dang, he yeah. 
take yeah, it yeah, back. Took it back classic, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Remember Cold This Winter? Ch- Ch- Cold This Winter, all that. Like, I want to tap into more reading because I want to expand my vocabulary and okay. also just, okay. you know, reading puts you in a different dimension, you know? Okay. It's different than watching TV. You read uh, or heard um, um, The Four Agreements? No. Definitely tap into I'll that. I'll tap into that, Tap though. into that. I'll okay. def- I'll remind you of anything. That's a great. I have actually the four agreements right here. Okay. Um, it's a great book. Um, easy listen or easy re- read if you decide to get the book. But um, definitely the reason why you know like reading is so fundamental. Yeah. You understand? Like you said, you want to work on your vocabulary. Exactly. So, so I just feel like a lot of these books like they help you de- with your development. Mm-hmm. And. You know, artist development is truly important within your artistry, but people don't realize if there's no artist development if you're not even working on your personal development. That's a fact. Like people don't realize if you're if you're personally not in the right mind state of mind, like you know how hard it is to even elevate within your business. Mm. Like I, 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 for me, you know, like because life will always happen. You have to be. It's like a lot of business or like a lot of wealthy people tend to say it to us or like. The vid- audios, videos, whatever is like, you have to learn how to remove your emotions when yes. it comes to business. Yeah, because business. So again, is business. you have to be really mind ready and in your personal development. And then I would say, you know, work on personal and, and artist development is truly big for me. Yes, and you that's know? what that's what I'm doing now, and um, that's why I, I'm working with um my, my artists, okay, uh, New York, and we we we're, we're building off of that. You know, what I'm saying showing her the ropes and. I'm learning as I go, and she's learning with me. You know what I'm saying? Nah, We're that's team. dope. Yeah, you definitely, you guys are definitely taking over. I want to share an experience that happened to me off your platform that I've never shared on any other platform before. Okay. All right. So, how I knew that there was some type of destiny for me in music, there was an incident that happened to me um, when I was about 11, 12 years old. Mm-hmm. My house burned down. Oh, wow. And when my house burned down, I had so much stuff in my room. I mean, I had thousands of songs in my books. Like, I used to write it and keep it in my drawer. My father had brought me uh, DJ equipment and a karaoke machine. When I tell you, everything burned in my room. Wow. Every single thing burned in my room. I was completely destroyed because I worked so hard at a young age to have such a catalog of stuff. Mm -hmm. And when I went in the room, the walls was all burnt down. There was no floor. There was no nothing. But I tell you what, there was a dresser, like wooden, just like this, Mm -hmm. with my books in it. And that was the only thing that was untouched by the fire. Wow. Untouched by the fire. That's wild. All of my books, all of my hard work, I couldn't believe it. Wow. I couldn't fucking believe that shit. Like, I was like, wow. Like, everything burned. The TVs, the, mm-hmm. the but the paper did not burn. It was like a ring around the dresser. So I was like, I don't know what the fuck this mean, but it got to mean something. <laughs> you better listen to the ancestors, you understand? <laughs> right, right. Like, they telling that you, you... That's crazy. I never shared that story before, and that was, that was a moment in my life that really changed everything. That changed... I can yeah. imagine that. I mean... Damn. My family was impacted That's by that. Deep. I took a big loss, but I gained so much out of that because it made me stronger. I could I could imagine. I mm-hmm. mean, you know, and, and at that, you know, at that time from that's that's a that's a traumatic overall. For real. That's very traumatic. I didn't even have clothes to put on my back. I didn't wow. have nothing. I had nothing. Wow. Only the clothes that I came into the house with when the house was caught on fire. That's it. So how long did it take you, you know, for everybody to get back, you know, for your family to get back on their feet? We went through, we went through a little, a little um, struggle after that, but we eventually. That's when I moved to Bayshore because I was in Huntington when that happened. Mm. I was with my um, one of my best friends who's no longer with us. He got killed as well, solo. R.I.P. to you. He was my best friend, my um, my daughter's godfather, and we were celebrating. It happened on um, New Year's Day. Wow. He's literally walking down the block celebrating. I see like the fire department, police. Like I thought somebody got killed at my house. Like I, as I started getting closer, I started getting emotional. Like wait, what the fuck? What, what happened? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because we were just. How old were you? you I was said, like 11, 12 11, years 12, old. 11, 12. You said yeah. actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So as I got up to the door, I started seeing my mom and everybody was in front, and and I was looking for my little brother because at the time he was much younger. My little brother Kason, and um. 
yeah, everybody was safe, thank God, and that was the most important thing. Like everybody survived, you know, and I lost I lost a lot of shit. But um I would shout out my church mm. that I was going to at that time, Mount Calvary, because I I was destroyed, but that Sunday that I went to church, everybody put money in the offering wow. and they paid for me to get all of my clothes back. I was like, yo, I I was That's feeling dope. so lit, yo. That's for dope. real. That's dope. And it's dope, but you know, when the community can definitely yeah, they can't. They you know, can't do they it for come me. through. You're the, Mount you know. Calvary on New York Avenue. Shout out to them. Very traumatic, but you came, like you said, you came out with strength. Mm-hmm. You know, with motivation. You know, with just you know. So it's 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 sad that that had to happen, but you should be proud of who you are now. Yeah, absolutely. But it's like that saying, you not you um you know don't judge like you're not your past. You nah, know, Deter- no. don't determine a person by their past, and you Mm-mm. you're definitely. That's you. You you're that definition of that saying. You know. I was a high school dropout. I went back and got Same. my GD and then got my fucking college degree. You know, I didn't quit. I I never was a quitter. Like, uh, I, like if I couldn't do it one way, I figure out another way to skin a cat. There's multiple ways to skin a cat. Yeah, and yeah. Success can come in different shapes and forms. I definitely agree with you. That's dope. That's dope. So, Castle is just a dope. You've been through a lot. Yeah. You know and. You definitely have a story, hence why it, this is meant for you. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because you're meant to share that story so that way you can inspire those who are dealing with something similar to what you dealt with or who is close to quitting. You understand? Yeah, right to that. And because yeah. you're that person who's who's not, you refuse to, to, to quit. You understand? It's a, it's a difference. Like, people don't realize there's a difference to fall and get back up. You will fall and get back up, but you're not quitting. I'm not quitting. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take whatever I learned when I was falling, and I'm gonna come back ten times stronger. No, that's dope. On that's some dope. Transformer shit. So I know we we you you're we're expecting an album from you. Yes, legacy. Legacy. Yes. Um. When do you like? Do you know when you're dropping this or like? I'm gonna wait till the weather gets a little warm because I want these girls to be out here shaking their ass to it. Copy. <laughs> Copy. I, okay, I get it. So, what's next, though? Like, what are we expecting? Visuals. Visuals, visuals, visuals. I want to do visuals. I want to work with major artists. I want to perform as much as I can. I want to be in everybody's face. Mm. I want to be like that fucking mosquito that you keep. Mm, get out of here. Mm, gotcha, mm. gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I'm stinging the fuck out you. Facts. <laughs> Facts. You can feel this energy. And it's going to happen. I'm telling you right now. I'm coming. It's definitely going to happen. That's what, that's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm knocking down the fucking doors. That's what, I, that's what I'm fucking talking about, man. And lastly, I want to know, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Mm, and know. it could be anything. Anything? Boom. Damn. Mm-hmm. First time. I'm trying to keep it appropriate. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hold on. Wait the fuck. It's always like that. Hold the fuck up. I'm the first time. I don't even know. First, when was the last time you did something for, for the first, first time? time? For the first time? Yo. <laughs> Damn, you might got me. I think I got a whole brain for it. Yo, nah, we don't, we don't that. quit here. We don't yeah, quit don't here. Yeah, right? <laughs> the first time. All right. The first time I ever did um, an acting role in a video. I okay. can say that. Yes, was with um, Papoose and Street Heat. So this is the first time this you ever did time. this? I never, I never did it. Okay. I wasn't even supposed to be in that fucking video. I came there just to see my boy Tana, and um, he was like, yo, you want to do a quick little skit? I was like, what do I got to do? He's like, you got to get you got to get robbed, and you got to cut my... <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. I fucking around and did that shit, and all of a sudden, this shit is on fucking Worldstar with like 3 million views. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I'm lit. I'm an actor out this you lit. Yeah, like, that's in your resume. I felt like Pac on Juice. I'm like, damn, I want to do this shit again. I can't wait. Facts. <laughs> That's dope, though. Yeah. So what, I mean, are you looking to get into Hell it? Hell yeah. If okay. other artists want me to play in their videos, I'll do it. As Let's long as they ain't compromising who I am as a person, then yeah. I, I see, I see you, you, you're, Cash, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, too. Like, you have a bright future. Thank you. You just got to be consistent. Yes. We already know, like, in this industry, it's who you know and be consistency. Mm-hmm. I'm being completely honest. Your network, as corny as this shit sounds, your you um what is it? Your net worth is your your network is your net worth. Net worth. Right? Yeah, so shit sounds corny, but it's so true. You mm-hmm. know, so definitely build your resources, 
continue grinding because you got it. Um, you know, and just and just just maintain po- that positivity. I I love your mindset. Like I knew you was real cool and calm. But like now that we have this sit it's down, like yeah. it's dope. Like I actually enjoy your your energy. Thank you. Thank so you. I definitely appreciate the energy. I appreciate the, just your mindset, because um, you normally don't get that so much. And unfortunately, it's not. You know, it's just like within our community, you don't get it so much. It's just so. Yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. So many rah rah shit. Yeah, you understand? Everybody want to look tough. Everybody want to <clears throat> feel tough. You got to I, I don't mind showing the sense of vulnerability. I don't mind showing. I could be I could be lacking in this area. I could do a little better, like because it makes me human. It makes people relate to you. It makes people want to know more about you because right. you're showing them that you could be vulnerable. Yeah, no, definitely. I appreciate it. So, for those that are watching, where can we find you? Where can um, you know? Obviously, once you know he released the project, he you know he'll he'll give it to me. I put oh, it on the absolutely. website, all that good stuff. You understand? Well, but, I got my Instagram is Caso K A S S O underscore F G O with another underscore, and then I also have my website, which is K A S S O F G O dot com. So it's Caso F G O dot com. And there's no reason why you shouldn't be following the man because all his information will be in the description box below. All you got to do is click on it. Let's do it. Show some love. It's Uh free. You understand? Y'all already know, man. It's your girl, V Henny, man. The Artistry Show. And we out. Rock out with your cocks out. Jam out with your clam out. The the, the Artistry. Catches on YouTube, Facebook, or outlets. Follow us.